As I'm sure many of you would like to know who are watching this video, here is the current status and condition of the housing market in Pleasanton, California. Real quick though, my name's Cooper. I help people buy and sell homes throughout Livermore, Pleasanton, Dublin, San Ramon, Danville, and Alamo, and I absolutely love when you all reach out to me with your questions. So if you need my help or have any questions whatsoever, reach me directly by phone, text, or email. The housing market has picked up again in Pleasanton in the last two months, and we are once again seeing multiple offers on some homes. So why the sudden change in the market conditions since rates have more or less stayed elevated since the initial rate hikes last year? Well, I believe it's mostly due to the lack of housing inventory we have. We just have so little homes for sale. I also believe that we've had buyers waiting on the sidelines seeing what's going to happen to the tech, the housing, and the financial industry to see if housing prices will come down. And they've been waiting now some six to eight months. And having waited these past few months to see what would happen to the housing industry as a result of all the things we have going on right now, and I've seen no real change except for that initial pricing drop when rates initially went up in 2022. So yes, to my last point, prices did drop after the initial rate hike in 2022, but have since then stayed pretty level. And now that more buyers have re-entered the marketplace to buy a home and we are seeing some multiple offer situations on properties, I think pricing will adjust accordingly and we will see a more quote unquote normal price appreciation on properties pending no other big things change throughout the tech or financial industry. Currently in Pleasanton, we only have 35 active properties for sale right now. That is broken down into 31 single family homes, three townhomes, and one condo. We also have eight homes total in coming soon status set to hit the market in the coming days or weeks. And if you don't know, this is considered really, really low housing inventory. For reference, we have 26,000 housing units in Pleasanton and we're currently operating at about one and a half months of inventory. So it's definitely still a seller's market. And again, for reference, five to six months of inventory is considered a healthy balance between buyers and sellers. Pleasanton specifically has been operating at sub five months of inventory for many, many years now. As far as my personal experience and seeing what homes are selling and what's going on in the market, I can tell you that open houses are really busy on the weekends and realistically priced and well prepped homes are getting multiple offers. Now it's not similar and likely will never be similar to what the housing market looked like during COVID when literally every single house was getting 10 to 20 offers but I am seeing one to five offers not be out of question. And every now and then a very sought after one of a kind home will pop up with good timing. It could get 10 or more offers. My current advice for anybody who wants to buy a home right now is to get pre-approved with a lender if you are going to get financing and really analyze your total monthly output for your new home and see what affordability you have and how much home you want to buy. Keep tabs on the housing market on a daily or weekly basis to see what's going on, see how quickly homes are selling, see how many homes are for sale, see how many homes are pending and how many homes have sold. This will give you pretty good information and data on the health of the market and if people are buying and selling. Now, if you do want a local resource to bounce questions and thoughts off of so you can stay in the loop as far as how the market is going, I would be happy to be a local resource for you. Just reach out to me by phone, text, or email any time of the day. And of course, if you've already made your decision and you know you want to buy or sell a home in the Tri-Valley, then reach me directly anytime. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.